Welcome back to the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. My name's Wayne, and uh, well, today's a little different because we bought some junk. So today, what I got behind me is uh, the cheapest dump truck on Marketplace. Uh, I found this locally. Uh, it was actually at a scrapyard, and the guy who ended up bringing it out, you'll see in the video, uh, the tow company that brought it out shares a lot with this scrapyard. And so uh, they posted on Marketplace and we're like, hey, you know, this thing's going over the freaking scales at 2400 bucks. You know, 2500 buys it. And I was like, I'm in. Sounds perfect. Hasn't run in 20 years. Literally been sitting around since 2002. So the story goes, I uh, was um, sitting at some estate or something like that. Look at the friggin' moss on it, huh? Some Dayton's. Pretty rough. But they got, they, they were just cleaning up the property, so the thing went to scrap, and then the scrapyard luckily thought better of it, or, you know, the gentleman nice gentleman who brought it to me thought better of scrapping it nice telescopic uh dump cylinder look like it was put on somewhat recently and it's got a uh 15 foot that is a bibu dump body i don't know you know too much about it other than it looks super solid so that's cool as hell Air gate at one point. I don't know. It's disconnected at the moment, but it was an air gate at one point. Um, it looks like they just had a tack welded on there. I, I think they were just installing this box from what I gather. But just from what I can tell, you know, looking this thing over here, has a lift axle on it. don't know if i feel like them things are well in new york you can't even run them anymore you gotta have a steerable one so the thing is junk but uh, you know just take a look around it here super nice tanks fiberglass doors that's real nice it's a built clock in the built <laughs> hood is man this side of it's in way better shape than the other side Some nice parts on it. Some of the grill, the grill's decent. Some of the trim. This side of the, the bumper is kind of cool. For being just a shitty steel bumper, it's in nice shape. It's not all twisted up. This thing is roached right here. On that side, is all busted out of it. You can see where they tried to put bolts in. It's all rotted out behind here. The problem with these is the same as them Fords. They would. Uh, kind of sandwich metal into the fiberglass where the hinges bolt on and it no matter what you do it it doesn't not rot thirty four oh six B model look like somebody scabbed the fan but the radiator Ain't bad. Like, I mean, it's green. It's shitty. You wouldn't want to run it, but at least it's holding fluids. Really. Ain't the dumbest thing I've ever bought. And I pushed it over here out of the way because I got all this shit to do right now, but. I just thought maybe we'd do a once over. Got a Jake on it. There's your, your PTO and your air gate and all those levers and stuff. That's for the 
drop axle. Floor deleted. Anyway, it's a super cool old unit. I bought it completely not knowing if it ran or not. Like I said, the guys knew nothing about it other than it was too nice to uh, scrap. And so, let's see if it runs together, shall we? Quick, to the will it start section. We are here with the fellas from DAB Towing. How you doing? And your names are? My name's Darian. Darian? I'm Brian. Brian. And them and this lovely Mac dragged me this pile of shit. And we're going to see if it runs. Them boys were like, hey, what are you doing? Do you think you can put batteries on it? And I was like, that sounds like a good idea. So... I don't know shit about no caterpillars, but it looks like a B model. And I think this is a shutoff for the pump, so we're gonna test that and see if it works. But the throttle moves, I don't know what that means. We're gonna well, let's put some put some voltages to her and see if it uh catches on fire first. And we'll go from there. Hmm. Thought that'd be more eventful. Nothing. Is it, so I take it the key's off? He was off. It was turned on. I turned it off. Oh, you did turn it off. Oh, wait. No. It was an accessory. You had an accessory. Let's see. 
Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Shut off, Dude, what a treat. Right? All right. I got it off now. Um, Let's see. This. That didn't arc out and kill all any of us. So that's good. I love those shitty GM battery cables. That's it's the same as our pickup truck. Right? Let's just. Oh, I bet that had them too when they changed them. Yep. Yeah. That makes more sense. I'm like, why does it have side terminals? I hate side terminal batteries more than anything. Uh, I want to put vice grips on that thing. So we're rolling. Uh, let's. Okay, that's good. We'll see. What, what I'll do is I'll turn the key on. We'll see if the vice grips move because that should, right? I think I so. I would think it yeah. would. If that is actually a shut off. It should, uh, you know, do that. Well, that's a good sign. It's probably the right color for those, right? Teal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> alpine green is my favorite color, so it's got a little bit of Detroit in it. It's growing alpine green. Yes. All right. Um, let's see. I'm going to just turn the key on, and we'll see. If... Did that just shut off? What? Oh no, that was the other camera. Still feels the same. I'm a little bit concerned by that. I wonder if that's freaking stuck. Well, so let's think about this. If it's stuck, it's probably gonna be stuck in no fuel. Yeah, it shouldn't be stuck open, like wide open, right? Right. I mean, worst comes to worst, if we pull these off, I know all that stuff's right behind there. Well, I'm saying uh, we got batteries in it, so let me. Uh, I think I'll just turn the other cameras on, and then we'll hit the key, see if it turns, right? Right. Yeah. Before we're, you know, whatever. This is a nice camera. It's junk. Really? I hate them. Oh, there's I, a wide angle view on it. I lost my fucking noodle and smashed. There's a battery smashed in the tractor bucket. There's one laying over there on the floor. <laughs> you turn them fucking things on, it says it's like 45% yeah. ready to go. You fucking hit record and then it shots off, dude. Yeah, and then that's I, a pain. Yeah. I lose my fucking noodle. I can't handle the shit like that. Um. All right, so I feel like let me just at least yeah. turn on another camera on. And that way if it goes through the moon, at least it's on video. <laughs> I'm not gonna be mad. Do you want to uh, pull that intake tube off of there, and we can get ready to stuff a piece of wood over the turbo or something? Yeah. Okay. Hit the, I'll hit the. I hit the key, and um, it just. We'll just see if it. I mean, it could be just locked solid anyway. The. Uh... So I'll just turn it with the key and see what happens. The low air buzzer and light works. You good? Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like it wants to go. Yeah. Yeah, prime it up a little bit, give it a couple pumps. Does it? I'm probably just creating a massive air leak right now. You got pressure? Yep. Sure feels like it. All right. This might run. I think it might. It sort of does. I guess we'll just hit the key, and if it goes, it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have smoke. No shit.
Let me see if the brake pedal works. All right. This is seized, and the throttle pedal is seized, and it's not connected to nothing anyway. But I, I think if I had a rope, yeah. I could drive it with a rope, yeah. but the brake trolley I'd have to free up, or I could just blow the air brakes. Let's see if it, let me see, let me jam it in reverse to see if we get reverse here. Yeah. Oh. You got a clutch? There are cable on these. Is it really? Yeah. You have some spray? Yeah. I got all the spray. Yeah. Bro, it's got 80 pounds of air pressure already. Like the low air light went off. That's it. Yeah, let's see if it shuts off. What a treat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Delete. Dude. No fucking way. I can't get over the fact that it runs. Like, what'd they take the fan for? I don't know. It doesn't just run, it runs good. It runs really good. like the coolest thing I've ever bought. I can't believe how easy it started. This thing hasn't ran in 20 years. Dude, and it was like legit. Pump that thing twice and it's running. It fucking ran. Holy shit. God, that Mac is just, it's just right. And the cool part is like, I've never seen a Mac yeah. like wreck heavy wreck. You don't see like a that. lot of them. No. It was worth the drive to Georgia. 
Yeah. That dude, that thing is yeah. cooler than shit. I really like that. This general builds air faster than Mac does. <laughs> I just went <clears throat> over that. So what do we need? Spray for the cable, right? For the Yeah, there's a there's a clutch cable on these. I know it's kind of a Yeah, shut off by the key. Oh yeah, dude, it's like brand new. Oh so this has to be the clutch cable. Yep. This thing. So Is that grease fittings on it or anything? Not that I can see, but I'm I'm willing to bet whatever's froze up is either froze up, like because it's a sealed cable, so it's probably not the cable. Unless it's got a hole in it someplace. Right. But maybe under the right? dash, like the yeah. pivot is yeah. what's pivot, seized. Yeah. So I'm just gonna spray the ever living yes, shit out. Yes, spray it all. And spray it all. We'll see what transpires. Adrian's not gonna believe this right now. No. Well, good thing we have a video. So this started recording 11 minutes ago. We've already had it start, shut off by with the key, and build air. Dude, who would have guessed that you basically could have drove this? Thing? That's what he yep. said. He goes, why would you put batteries in <laughs> and drive it? What are the chances of that? These are optional. That guy got that other truck right thinking that was the better one. This is the better this one. This is the better one. Is that a uh, GMC hood latch? Yeah. There's probably somebody yeah, that needs that. Yeah, that's probably $300. Yeah. Probably. You any kind of handy with a welder? Uh, depends. You can weld this box back together in the back and have a dump truck. Yeah, right? Oh, get in there nice and deep like it. <laughs> that's it, boy. Get in there nice and deep like Oh, yeah. Work with some free all today, dude. That I don't know if you've ever used that stuff. I've that been on this Kimball stuff, this is the jam, bro. Kimball makes this torque CB, that stuff works very well. No, shit. I don't know how much of this is gonna take, but I know how much it's gonna get. Yeah, mm. all of it. That's usually like dark. every bit of it. Realistically, the air leaks aren't as bad as I thought they would be. No. I can't believe how. Did I set the brake? Yeah. We like to check that before we go rolling under yeah. these. You want a video down there while you're spraying? Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said! Yeah. Um, yeah. Please. Dude, this is the craziest way I've ever met somebody that turns out to be cool, you know? The tow guys just showed up, just never left. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out now they're like one of the gang. What are the chances? Yeah. <laughs> what? Did we just become best friends? Yup! You wanna go do karate in the garage? Yup! Golly, dude, the training's like pretty clean. Yeah, like the, it's really not. Is it a nine bad. speed? I don't know. I think it's a nine speed. Oh, bro, it's got an air dryer? Yeah. Nothing oh. I own is new enough to have an air dryer. I'm gonna have to take that. You know, literally just driving it down the road would just knock, knock a lot of the things off. Yep. And <sighs> dude, this thing is sick. Let's see if we can get it to. Touch right now. Dude, the steering wheel ain't bad either. Yeah, a little sticky, but aside from that, it's not bad. Oh, that's really inconvenient. Right. Is it moving the lever down there? Here. <laughs> yep. Yep. Is it really? Yep. In and out. Yep. Oh, we could just tie a ratchet strap around the tip of your boot and tie your boot to the clutch pedal. To the pedal. clutch oh, dude, pedal. It's coming back up now. <laughs> you just gotta give her a little love. That's all. Oh. It literally just sounds like. Oh, yeah, dude. We got a clutch now. <laughs> <laughs> driving this thing. We are driving it, boys. Yeah. Huh?
All right, we Let's, need to. Uh, I'm gonna take those splice grips off of that injection pump, put them on the brake valve since I just broke that. Right, right here. Oh, thank you, sir. Yep. Look at the fucking bee's nest. Sick. Active. Yeah. What oh, is cool looking? Them things are scared of me. Contact, fired up. <laughs> no, don't run. <laughs> Why? There we go. What could possibly go wrong? Dude, it's old air, it's still 80 pounds of air. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what that other the, I don't know what that other the bottom does. one is yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah if it's some kind of weird two speed two speed or anything I don't is know. that a two speed look at the thing hanging off the side it's weird it's, it might be, it's dude. different than a regular uh, inner axle yo what's that thing hanging off mm -hmm. nothing oh, something just happened oh shit is that PTO it shouldn't be on the shifter no, this has got to be PTO. Yeah, PTO is like a lever. separate thing. Yeah. I don't know. Let's try that. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, it's locked now. I just pushed the dry shaft my foot. It's just locked. Okay, in. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, f***ing sick, dude. We're going for a rip. Oh, the dip lock works. The light. Really? Really? Look. Look at this. 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 Dude, I kind of like this it turn. Might it might be. Yo, we gotta lift the box, too. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Oh, it moved. Is not. So 
towards the inner axle. Brake lights work. No, they don't. Both of them. The reverse lights work. Clear? Yeah, the reverse lights and the brake lights work. No way. Yeah. And the air dryer works. It just popped off. <laughs> You know, I'm this is, super impressed with that. I'd say this is a win. Definitely a win. So it either needs a power divider or a rear. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's why he stopped driving it. Who knows? I would imagine it couldn't be the power divider it, if I mean, locking the power divider solves the problem, right? Yeah. Because if the power divider, I mean, the the way they fail usually, they right, right. It, don't work at all. It don't done, do yeah. fuck all. So I would think that this this rear's got to be out of it, the and or it's stuck in between. Yeah, that could like, just be gummed up. I don't know what that is. Neither do what I. this thing hanging off the side, right? Yeah, is that a two speed rear? What this? is that fucking thing? Yeah, that, right. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like the filter, because you know some of them had a filter built oh, into right, the rear. Right, right. There's like nothing going to it though. No airlines. It's got to be. Could it be encasing a large spring? It could be encasing a large spring. Yep. Feel the end of it. It's got like a thing. That's the hump for back yeah. here. Yeah, so I would imagine that. Here's our power divider right here. Yep. Over here. And that has the airline to it. That has the airline to it. So I guess the easiest tell would be to uh, pull the drain plug and see if you get chunks. Yeah. We're still locked in. Did I unlock that? Dude, what a cool fucking truck, right? Yeah. There we go. Dude, holding 100 pounds of air. I'm trying to listen to see what I can hear, you know? It was smooth and quiet when you went forward. Man. Yeah. But you can... You can hear it. Like, kunk, 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 like it's yeah. like like there's a fork not engaged yeah. all the way. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if it's just like gummed up, dude. Because it could be. It's awfully dry. I feel like to be yeah. damaged. And I also feel like I don't know. There's just too much else about the truck that's not fucked up. You know what I mean? There's fresher silicone on that around where she mates up too. Yeah, on the on the actual housing. Yeah. 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 The other one doesn't have that. A, like a throttle and a brake pedal, like we could take you it could down drive the road, it. dude. Yeah. Like I could easily. Better bust out a pressure washer. Man, that is way cooler than having to push it back there with the skid steer. You just drive it. Cause I, yeah, yeah, cause I was like dreading that. Something, something is up with that. I don't know what the hell that uh. I don't know what this thing is on the shifter, bro. Flip it now that it's not running. See if we can hear anything happen. Okay. It's got to do something, right? Yeah, you got to see if, see if you can hear it back at the rear. Good? Yeah. No, it didn't do shit. Didn't do anything. It's got airlines hooked up to it, right? There. It's got to be high. Is this a 15? I don't know. It says right up there it's a nine, right? It does. Well, it was a nine. Unless it's a fifteen but, now. But, dude, that that's like that's oh, a tranny. It might be a fifteen. Yeah. And they just kept the nine shifter and just added another little thing on the side. Mm -hmm. Who knows, dude? This could have had or thirteen. Wait a minute, yeah. bro. It's got the five star logo on the dash. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if it's maybe just a hodgepodge. It could like be. Like maybe this yeah. was Detroit powered at one point too, and he put the cat yeah. in the out of the other, the other one. Is there a door tag? Uh, I don't know where they would be on one of these. My buddy James I? would know. I, actually, doesn't that whole dash panel come off? 
And then there's it like circuit breakers and shit back there. Can you open that, that other door? Because the hand. Right oh, there they are. Yeah. Dude, this yeah, thing, this thing is cool as shit. It is. Yeah. Oh, f dude. Throttle. Just thought of something. Oh. What? Do that again. Is it move it? It's, I can't get it to. I think this cable's froze. Yeah. Is that dash all broke up in this thing? Because I know people love those. Um. It looks pretty nice. No, it's not. <laughs> this whole panel's solid. Yeah. I don't know what any of this shit does. You want to see if the lights work? Like, let's see if the lights work. Yeah, let's put the hood work. back on. I mean, you got brake lights and stuff. Brake lights and reverse lights work. Yeah, you got headlights. No fucking way. Parking? Yep. You got them on the roof. You got two roof lights out, three of them work, and it might be another switch for the running lights. Hang on. I got a clicker here for the left turn signal. Is the right one on? Right one's on. <laughs> Dude, what a fing tree this thing is. Where's the air horn? You got both headlights. Bring it back to scrap. Yeah, <laughs> caught it up. Serious. All right, so, oh shit, what's that now? The switch goes both ways on the headlights. Did that turn something else on? No, we lost, nothing is on nothing? right now. Nothing? Nothing. Headlights. Huh. That's interesting. to have this in the grill. So then that begs the question. Dude, the dash lights work. Really? No. I don't know what this is. There's like some red light here. I don't know what it is. Blower motor. Does it work? Yep. <laughs> it's probably gonna blow a mouse at me, so I'm probably. not gonna run it. But... Mouse and snakes? Oh yeah, there's snakes. <laughs> Wait, how is that the blower motor? They mostly he must have booger wired that in. Cause this is this is the factory one. Alright, should we see if we got PTO? Yeah, I would why not? See if the box goes up. I bet you it does. Is there enough weld on the back of that so oh, it don't fall? Yeah, be careful of that. Oh, let's look at that because we haven't showed that on camera. Yeah, there's a big chain holding this because it's. Uh, you can see Our daylight. Custom is custom. You got like an inch of weld holding it on. Oh, that's like all of it. See it? Oh, yeah. How's that side, Brian? It's welded. Kind of. Even if you just move it a little bit. Yeah, we'll just see what it does. Yeah. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, wow, it's got Maxi's back here, too. Yeah. yeah. All the way around. But that explains why it was draggy back here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe these aren't releasing? Because y'all didn't have these cages, did you? Yeah, we had all four. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. But both of these cans did give us a little bit of trouble caging them, getting cage bolts in and whatnot, so. Air this back here for a tag. Good. Yeah, they towed pups with it. I got, we picked up the pups. They already got caught up. No shit. Dude, the box is like... It's not that bad, right? Pretty solid truck. Just a pressure wash and a vacuum. That's a video in itself right there. Pressure yeah, wash. just washing this thing? Yeah, I just hate when guys... I hate them videos. I hate them. People like watching them, though. I know. That's, it bothers me deeply. Because I'm not... I, like, the stuff that I want to watch is not what everyone else wants right. to watch. Yeah. I want to watch you guys, like, get shit running, pull shit out of the yeah. weeds. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to see that shit. I don't give a f about... How much moss we can get off of this it would look pretty cool though it would look nice i think it would look good all right so let's fire it up and see if we can get the damn make the box move yeah um that's great i never 
fuck with one of these before. Actually, should we just clutch in PTO? Yeah, and clutch in PTO and should have a lever. Four and dumps them. I should be able to put PTO on right now. It might have to be rounded. Let's air. Oh shit, it's got an air tailgate too. That's great. Dump a bunch of weeds here. in your driveway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be pissed at myself. The PTO just engaged. Oh, I heard it. Yeah. Cable? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably froze up. Yeah. I don't Which see why I, convenient. I don't see why I wouldn't dump. Because I'd really it love to. Yeah. I'd also I'd just be curious to see. You have fluid in it? Like is A, is there fluid in it? B, you know what I mean? Like actually. I think that's the fluid level in it right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's the fluid level. Is it moving? Or is it just a schmoo level? It's gotta be right there. I know a way to find out. Oh yeah, let's put all the shit in there, bro. Where'd the, where'd the fuel tester stick go? You see in there? Oh boy. Look funky? It looks like water. If that's what it is, it's right here. Let me get a... A stick? Yeah, I'll get a big screwdriver and jam it in there and see what we get. Dude, sick adventure today. They screwed a Eaton Fuller tag right here. It's not factory. So maybe it is a 13 or a 15. What's the number? RTO 14608LL. It's an 8LL then. Cause that PTO didn't sound like all that happy about life. It's an eight double L. They have another tra trainee tag screwed to the ceiling over here. As someone screwed so it. it's got, that's what that is, is low, it's low. It's deep reduction. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's why it, there is that, that, five stars on the, on the yeah. dash, yeah. That explains why it looks like shit. That's just cause it's just a vent. Oh, it's just a vent. How yeah. the fuck you put fluid on it? Oh, you must no, have to take... I think it goes down and you, around like there's a baffle. You're probably going to take this whole plate off. No, I think there's a baffle. There could be. To fill it, I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because so, I... otherwise it couldn't vent either if that was yep. solid. So it's got... This is like small block shit, dude. That's like right mm -hmm. off my 350. Yeah. Never to return back on there again. You know, I bet if you pull these off and pull this off, there's a strainer basket filter in there. There's got to be, dude. Yep. Got to be. Last guy had the same issue with this that I am, I guess. There it is, just gotta hit it. Uh, so I guess the only way to know is really to lift it. <laughs> yeah, might as well try lifting it. Let me see if there's a cable under here that I can spray. I'm pretty sure I pulled the brakes. Where would that even be? It should be a valve That's like somewhere. dead center of the truck. It's right, so it's gonna be at top of the transmission. Yeah, is yeah, it? it's cable. No, that's airline. Here's a cable. This Bra cable doesn't look great. Right, that's why I'm wiggling it? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's drying. <laughs> so our neighbor kid came over and we're throwing the stick for idiots. And So we figured out some of the mystery while you guys were gone. The dump box isn't actually plumbed to the hydraulic system. They must have been built, they must have been in the middle of building this thing and decided, I don't know what happened, but the dead giveaway, like all the bolts are new. They're not even old enough to be rusted. 
So they were putting this together. The hinges are tack welded on and clearly they weren't, they're not original to the deal. They're just tack welded on the back. So like they were building this dump truck for what I don't know, but I figured we ought to go through it. You need a belt? Oh, comes with a mouse nest. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, boys, by the way. All of the fuel, I don't know if you can tell it, but it's like three quarters of the way fuel, full. Free fuel. Big money. Free fuel, baby. Well, should we get some junk out of here? What's this? Mud flap hanger, looks like. Optional. This. Well. Coming with all Hold sorts that. of shit. Jimmy, get. It ain't going nowhere, huh? There you go. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. it's going. Get out of here. Mud flap hanger. the schmoo. That's a raincoat, dude. I think those are the pants. Oh, whatever. Oh, sick. I was looking for this. Is it wired in? Please don't be wired in. Dude, it's nicer than the mirrors on friggin' Mossy. Cost extra. What else is in here? Must be good diesel. We need a chain. Oh. What the f <laughs> What is that even for? <laughs> it's gotta be a sex chain or something. More cigarette lighter oh, masters. Yeah. Gotta have those. A couple more belts. Oh, I think that's coolant. Oh, it's brand new. We gotta put it in. Oh, it is, yeah. Bingo. That's big time. We're gonna put that right into the motor. bad for it. It came with it. Dude, this guy put all the fuel treatment into it. Every bit of it. What is with the f plastic? Here's another sex chain. Those D-rings are kind of cool. I could use those for something. For what? I don't know. What are you doing with that? Looks like an old Motorola. Oh. It might have been at one flip, point. Flip phone. <laughs> Deleted. What's in the box? Belts, looks like. Get your hand in there, that's the best way to see. Oh, dude, those are brand, they're going the up Caterpillar belts. Jesus, they probably cost what I paid for the truck. Look at that. Fancy. Wow. All right, those are going on the wall. Oh, here's a Napa belt. This guy, I wonder if he had a belt problem. Oh, Dacos. There's every belt in the truck in this fucking thing. Here's another cat belt. There's another belt. 9480, ain't that the same number as this other one? Yeah. So there's two of those. Oh. Sick, hydraulic hose. That's brandy new. Put that on the shelf. Oh, what's this? d No. Nope. What well, it, it was. It was. Oh. Oh, I'd love to know the story behind that. Sick. 
It's got bad decisions written all over it. Nothing else in there. Do we dare look behind the seat? Oh, God. What the f*** uh, is that? Oh, yeah. I was looking for that. Dude, is that new? Is that a new old stock? White GMC. I mean, it, it must have been new at it one was, point. Yeah, I don't think the rust on it's new. Oh, no, that couldn't have been new. He took that off. Oh, yeah, she's, she's They took that crunchy. off. That thing's wasted, so they, they put a new one on it and, and gave me that one. What are these? Oh, yeah. That's got to be a logbook. Can I just close it? What do we haul today? That looks like bill of lading. Here's Dill. Oh, Volvo. Volvo parts. Pay extra for those. What's this? Another one? Another broken door handle? Is this a common thing? Must be. Gotta be. All the tits are broke off, which is exactly what's wrong with the one on this door. Fucking GM. Junk. What's this fucking thing? That's not got any mouse piss on it. <laughs> Norman Rockwell, 2000. I guess we didn't have Google Maps back then. What else is back there? I'm gonna get hantavirus probably. What's this? Oh, dude, it's a CD player no face. Way. <laughs> 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 it used yeah, to be. Oh, That's yeah. what it was, yeah. dude. Oh man, I remember those. And the wiring harness. Wow. So is there a brand new radio back there? Or did you just give me this piece of shit? Oh, it's a sick hat and a shirt. What the hell's on the front of the hat? Anything good? I don't know. What's this? It's got to be tire shine. No, one day. Right. I just figured, you know, the truck's so nice it had to be tire shine. There's another belt back there. I think that's it. That's Considerably very, uh, less cool. Uneventful. Yeah. Oh, here's another belt. Oh, we got a headlight a bezel. Cooler, I thought there was going to be a lot cooler shit in this thing. So did I. That's pretty much wasted. There's another belt, though. You need that. Basically, we could restock Napa with all the belts. This fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. I look like, uh... Maybe Someone had. had their way with them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I should probably wash my hands now. <laughs> Golly. Window work? Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Only so much. What a friggin' unit this thing is. Dude had every belt. Dude, every one. I'll put them all on the shelf. I'm not even. I'm not even lying. There's not anything up here to put a belt on. Well, obviously they're for something else. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't tell what the coolant level is, so I was going to add coolant anyway. Oh, God. Might as well add brand new coolant. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Don't even look diluted. No, this is straight. Guaranteed. Get that into you. Dude, it's like, there's some in there. I think if I add another gallon, it'd probably be full. I got a gallon of water. What I want to do is like, be able to run it and like, get it warm, you know? Yeah. I don't wanna, I'm not trying to cook a liner o ring, you know? I like your windshield washer uh, That's pretty sweet, tank man. over here. Engineerly designed. <laughs> what are you saying? Loggers? Fucking loggers. Something a logger would do. That water's good to negative 20? Yes. You getting the Spielberg shot of that? Uh, I'm getting it all. Fucking man. I could do this as a full-time job. Well, you could. If I'd start making money on YouTube, that'd be mint. Then you could. I can't believe that radiator's not leaking. It's like melted into the earth. Oh, it is. I feel like I should oh, put another like gallon in there, right? Super f***ing crispy. I mean, super crispy. I would. Ooh. I got a little fresh though. You're gonna put that kind of money into this thing? The thought had occurred to me. I don't know though, I feel like, I just, I hate these radiators where you can't tell what's happening. There's a whole lot happening. I mean, it looks like there's coal in there, but the sight glass doesn't show any coolant, you know? Does that unscrew? I just wonder if it's like... I'm sure, I'm sure it did at one time. Yeah, I don't... It doesn't look like there's anything in there. Like the, It looks like there's plenty of coolant in the thing now. That's like got actual coolant in it. That like actually has coolant in it, so I'll tell you what, we'll see if it circulates when we start it. And then if it's like pushing coolant around, we know we're you know the water pump works anyways. I just want it I'd like to be able to bring the engine to temperature and see what the oil pressure's like and blah 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 blah. Jimmy, you're going to need your own channel. What? Jimmy's going to need his own channel, his YouTube channel. Yeah, we'll call it the friggin' Spaz channel. Call it straight up meth. <sighs> He's out of control. Oh, dude. The high beam works. Oh, it does too. Dude, the, and the thing on the dash works though. Sick. Check this out. This is probably a cool truck back in the day. Look at this. Like, watch right here, dude. <sighs> oh, wow. It even tells you high beam. And then, dude, if you do the diff lock, oh, it doesn't have enough air pressure, but it lights up, says diff lock. Like, it's That's cool as cool. shit. Oh, maybe that's why. There you go. See it? I flash on for a second. We're out of air pressure.
think so. I don't know about uh, water temperature because I haven't well, gotten your, it. Your air pressure gauge works. Oh yeah, no, it makes air. That's sweet. Can't get over the friggin' high beam, dude. I wonder if we hooked up the alternator if it would charge. Oh, it ain't even hooked up. No, there's no belts on the front of the motor. Oh. This thing is my favorite. Oh, that works. <laughs> what what is a clutch switch? Huh? What is a clutch switch? Don't know. Deleted. See if you the diff log light comes on. Yeah. How cool is that? Thing's freaking sick, dude. This, they got this jerry rig. Blower motor comes on. Or it was. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's legit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dude. That's like. Mouse piss. Perfect. Dude, it's already at like 90 pissies. Thing is That's sick. Great. Let's go see what if the radiator's moving water around, or if it's all going in the. Oh yeah, she's a circulating buddy. deleted that reservoir and put that piece of shit for whatever reason. Let's rev it up. Oh look, they deleted that rod so they could put that fucking thing over there, I think. Well, see, it definitely used to rub right here. I don't know where it went. Probably right there. But it's gone. We gotta fire it. We gotta rev it up, dude. Hang on. Let me get you a friggin'. Oh, dude, air dryer works. Oh, give her, dude. Give her all the way. Rev it up. Yes. Let it eat. the camera it's not my motor to blow up governor and then let go yeah yeah and then i'll put the jake on give it a good wrap. just let it come up to the governor and then let it go
We're idiots. Still pretty cool. Dude, it's like lukewarm at best. Like it ain't even, like feel the after cooler. Like it ain't, it ain't got no temperature in it. Yeah, no. But the motor's dead cold still. Like it ain't even. Legit nothing. Huh? Nothing. What a nice motor. Accidental. Should have named this one Mossy, bro. <laughs> Dude, for real. Alright, fellas. Well, it's been a couple days since this old girl fired up and ran. And, you know, we, you saw we had cooling in it and it was circulating. But so what I want to do is, you know what I want to do. We got to get a drain pan and we're going to crack the drain plug free and just make sure that it ain't milking itself to death. Oh boy. Don't use your hand as a hammer, guys. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Yeah. Hopefully it's not stripped because that would be inconvenient things i don't have a pan out here <laughs> let me uh let me go get a pan quick i'm right back let's see what we get here so you can see clearly i haven't touched it yet i don't know if you could tell let's see if we get a little light on here for you there you go now you can see it actually that works a lot better Try to make it. Oh, it's a brass. Oh shit. I'll try to just make it as clean as I can get it so that it. Listen, here's the deal. It's I don't want it to be. If we're gonna sell this motor to somebody, I'm not I don't wanna be even able to be accused of hiding something, so. If it's f I want to know it. That's oil, baby. Sick. Not one lick of moisture. Very good. I mean, the brass plug is really smart. Maybe what you guys can tell me in the comments if that's like how they all were, or if this is something somebody did. But I feel like that's really smart. Like it doesn't um, corrode that way. Yeah, no, it smells like shitty engine oil. Sick. All right, fellas, that's a good thing. I mean, it's been set in 20 friggin' years, so if there was gonna be cooling in it, it'd be in there. 
it would have milked itself running it the other day. You'd see the color of it change by now, but the best way to know is to know, and that's how you know. So now we can sell this, a good running B model, and uh, you know, somebody can save an old truck that needs an engine. All right, fellas, uh, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, thanks for joining me on this journey of uh, trying to get this old beast running. Got super lucky with this one. Like I said, I genuinely hit, we hit none of us. It, it, it would be me or the tow guys had any clue whether or not this thing ran. It has literally been sitting since 2002, not running. And we just happened to get lucky on this deal. So what a treat. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. I'm probably going to just part it out and let it live on through other people. I don't really have a use for it. It's not quite nice enough to make road worthy. Uh, it just needs too much for what I got going on. We got, you know what, if you watch this channel for any length of time, you know we got plenty of projects kicking around. So that is that. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for buying all the merch. It helps. And a special thank you guys to the patrons out there who are doing their best to keep me from sinking this ship. Because this stuff is expensive. So, thank you guys very much. Hopefully we'll have something else cool here for you coming up soon. Um, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, fellas. Coming to you live from the merch room. Here's what we got going on. My wife was talking shit the other day. And she says she likes one hat better than the other from the website. And I said, no way. You're freaking wrong. So check it out. Here's what we got. We got my favorite, the freaking USA. Badass. I wear one of these whenever I wear one. And then she's she likes the, the black one. She wears that thing freaking all the time. So I figured let's put this to bed once and for all. Here's what we're going to do. Go to the website. Buy your favorite hat. Whichever hat design sells the most between now and September 21st, whoever ordered that particular style hat is going to get entered into a drawing, and then we're going to pick a winner and mail you a care package. So the winner of this deal is going to get their choice, either one of these flags, which are badass, and also they're back in stock on the website. If some of you guys are, you know, looking for one. So you, you get your choice of either this uh, double-sided, you know, four-hold flag or wall banner, whichever, whatever you want to call it, uh, or a set of the small mud flaps. And we'll throw some other stuff in that care package too, you know, keychain, something like that, and some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, go get your favorite hat off the website. And uh, Great. if you want to buy a... Gray. We're calling it black. It, the technical term is battleship gray. This is gray, dear. And this is the right color. Mm, we're going to find out. <laughs> Anyways, go get a freaking hat. Buy a flag if you don't think you're going to win. <laughs> let's, let's put this to bed once and for all and prove that I'm right and my wife is wrong. So jump on the website, order a freaking hat, and let's get her dead. As always, thank you guys for watching, and thanks for supporting us through the merch, etc., etc. Patrons, you know the deal. I appreciate you fellas. Thanks for watching.